I went to the mall this morning. I almost grabbed the kid. I didn't know what to do, but I knew we would have called the police. The high school gets out. They go to some taco joint for lunch. All vegetarian, of course. They don't want to. They want to eat green. They're all emaciated with pimples. <laughs> the girls look healthier than the boys. They're all deficient in iron and and B six and and uh, carnitine. None of them have any energy. They're slumped over, and the guy's holding his pants. He's holding up his pants. He has a pair of dungarees on that are too too big for a skinny behind. White kid, a white moron. Probably doesn't have a father at home. Probably raised in Marin County. The pants are hanging down under under his on his skinny butt. With no belt. I wanted to go up and say, you know, you look like a god darn moron. Don't you have a father at home? You're an idiot. Put your pants on, you schmuck. I think I should say that to, to the next kid. What can they do? Arrest me for it? Say, don't you have any self-respect? Get a belt, you moron. What would happen if a million men went up to these schmucks and told them they look like idiots? Where did this develop from? I know where it came from. I covered this three years ago. The white boys aping the jailbirds. They all... Why do they ape the lowest common denominator in this society? Why? Why do they mimic the lowest common denominator? Dungarees hanging down under the skinny white belt. That's going to pay my social security. That's going to fight for me when the, when the time comes. That's going to defend America. They can blow America over with, with, with a breath. In China, they're training them to like eat chickens while they're alive and live on a handful of rice. This kid can't even hold his pants up. Here's a new story. Southwest kicks mom and cranky kid off California flight. Yes! Yes! One cranky two-year-old was acting too much for his age. Too much his age for Southwest Airlines flight crew. Kicked him off a plane. Yes! Oh, goody! Pamela Root says she was confident her son's Adam screams of go, plane, go, and quote, I want daddy, would subside once the plane took off Monday in Amarillo, Texas. But she says the plane taxied back to the gate and the pair was out. <laughs> the 30-year-old stay-at-home mom. Everyone's a mom. I love it. You see the moms today? Compare the moms today to my mother. The stay-at-home mom. Everything's a mom. I love they show shows about jails today. All they want is their children. The wonderful mothers. The junkies in the jail there. Oh, yes, I've uh, recovered since I'm in. I've come to see my self-esteem was no good. I'm so sorry I burned my baby. Where's my baby? The one I burned with uh, cigarettes. I i didn't mean to mar her face and cut her finger up. Oh, I want to get out and I want to be a good mom to my baby. They want to be moms. The minute they go out, they become hookers again and junkies. The 38-year-old stay-at-home mom... Wants an apology and compensation. Ah, for the portable crib and diapers she had to buy for the extra night away from. Oh my God! <laughs> Southwest spokesman Marilee McKinnis says removing a crying child from a flight is unusual. But crews have leeway to resolve situations. McKinnis says the airline is looking into the incident. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. How about screaming babies on airplanes? How about screaming babies in movies? How about screaming babies in Congress? Why should you not control your child uh, on an airplane? I was on a Southwest flight approximately a month ago. I went to San Diego. I, you know, I had to go down there to pick up my boat and, and come up with it to uh, Venice. Where was I? I forget it. It's with a V. I always forget where I go. Newport, sorry. I confuse Newport with Ventura. <laughs> It was a nice flight except for one problem. Everything was good for the first 10 minutes. And then a liberal man, up the, like a, a, a Seinfeld type, let's put it to you that way. He was he got on last. Everyone else was already seated. He got in there. That had reopened the door for him. You know, they're special. You know the type. They're special. They wait for the last minutes. Everyone has to look at them. Then he starts in with the fumbling and the package over the head. You have to put. I always put my hand over my head when they start in because I know a bag's going to fall. And then all they do is go, whoops. They can break your, your cranium and it's, it's whoops. They like to do that to people. Or the seat grabbers from behind when they get up there, the lummoxes, they grab the seat from behind. And this guy gets on, sits down, and there's an elderly couple minding their business, reading a book, and he starts to tell them his whole life story, where he was as loud as he can. And I'm fuming. I start to boil. I was trying to read a book. I couldn't read the book. He, di he didn't shut up. He was screaming so loud about his life. And where he just went and how wonderful the people were in somewhere in the third world. You know the type. Plane lands. I don't say a word because I know if I say a word on the plane, they strap me down. I get a truncheon beating and arrested. So I don't say a word. I bide my time. I get off the plane. I wait till we're outside in the sunlight where he's waiting for a, a, a connector. And I go up to him and I say, you know something? 
you really are a loudmouth slob. I said, you didn't shut your mouth. I couldn't read a book. Don't you understand there are people around you? He said, well, what do you want me to do? They were a hard-of-hearing elderly couple, and they were interested in my story. I said, that's just the point. There were other people on the plane. You were too loud. Why didn't you just talk lower? And he got, he got very insulted, very upset. Then he got scared, and he said, what are you going to do, spit at me? I said, what? I said, I don't do that. Spit at me. See, that's liberals. They, they think someone's going to spit at them because they told them that they're, they're, they're asinine. I wasn't going to spit at him. I told him he was asinine. That's all. Southwest kicks mom and cranky kid off California flight. Oh, there's a liberal lawyer out there who's salivating for this. This is going to pay his daughter's tuition at the Bryn Mawr. I'll be right back. Savage. 